been a while. I've actually been really busy moving into my new apartment, but that's enough of that, guys. Let's get to the hair stuff. If you're one of those people who really likes to skip through videos, <laughs> I'm one of them. Try not to do that in this video, because I promise you're gonna miss something. Yes, y'all gonna miss something, so just don't skip through the video, okay? Okay, thank you. In today's video, I'll be going over, one, how to apply your wig for swimming. Two, how to take that damn wig off without ripping out your edges, baby. <laughs> I still got mine. And the product I use is Cling, right? You guys know Cling. If you don't know Cling, just do a quick YouTube search, Google search, whatever, because I reside in a DMV. I thought I'd, you know, support the team, you feel me? Support the team, they in a DMV too. So I was just like, all right, let me go ahead and just buy something from them because that's how it is out here. And I wanted to, you feel me? So I just bought it or whatever. And I tried it. So I'm about to insert the clip of me applying it the day that I actually went to the river in my waterfall video. Okay guys, so be mindful that I am using the elastic band method, okay? I do not put the glue all the way around my perimeter because some of it's actually exposed due to the elastic band. I only put the glue right in the center. And the bottle says that I'm supposed to put four layers of this product. So put them on, layer them on, let them kind of turn clear, and then layer another one, clear, layer another one, clear, lay another one till you have four. Then gently press down your lace onto the glue. You guys can definitely see my lace here because hey, let's keep it real it's a wig <laughs> but i'm just gonna try to spruce it up with a little bit of baby hair just pulling some down i'm gonna get my hair wet anyway i really don't care um but that's what's going on as i was going under the pressure of the waterfall you guys see that in the video i'll insert a little something right here the pressure of the water did not push my wig back and off of my head with the use of the combs that come in the wig and that elastic band that has it secured snug, but not tight, snug on my head. Um, all I needed at that point was to put a little bit of glue just to make sure that perimeter right there that's showing, because I had a middle part right there that's showing, does not lift up. And it didn't, you guys. Like, it stayed all day swimming in the darn depths of that freaking water fall drizzle it was awesome and this is my wig the exact same day when i came home i just want to show y'all it was still on my head after i got home still pretty snug on there taking off the wig and taking off that product oh it was such a joy <laughs> Can you read through that? It's not the most fun thing in the world, but if you have patience and you're just a mild-mannered individual from the jump, I mean, you literally were born with the attitude of a baby kitten, then this is the product for you. Talk about time consuming. I think it took me anywhere from 25 to about 35, maybe 40 minutes to fully get the product out of my hair, off of my hairline, and oh my god, off of the wig lace itself. After I dissolved the glue from my hairline, I ended up with the glue left over and it was kind of sticky still. So here's a snippet of me removing it. Please use the, the correct removal product. Do not use whatever you feel concoction that you want to throw and mix up together. Right here, uncling. This is the product, okay? Not whatever you want to put in your daggone cauldron. Here I'm shown putting on the uncling product. And what I'm going to do is just spread it across my forehead and sideburn area. Um, this was actually a day that I wore the wig all the way across my hairline, so that's why the switch. But anyway, you do this no matter what. You put the product across your hairline and just kind of work it in with your fingers. Then I loosen it up with my comb by trying to comb through it very, very gently. 
I do not just go in and hack at my hairline. I just kind of press the comb against the glue and push it around so that it loosens up. You'll then experience serious chunks of the glue just coming off of your face. That's totally normal too. Let it happen. Please remove all of the white stuff. Here I'm all done. You still see little white balls of stuff in my hair, but I'm going to wash my hair and once I do that, all of that stuff is gone. So once you get the wig to actually slide off of your head, you're going to notice that the glue is now on your wig lace. It's not that hard to get off. It's the same process. It just takes longer. So you're going to put the glue um, remover, uncling, on there and let that sit for a little bit. I would say like four minutes, not even five. Like if you do that, it's going to dry up. So let it loosen it up a little and just kind of like, you know, like you're washing clothes kind of you ever manually wash clothes well as a Jamaican child I had to manually wash clothes as child don't be too rough of course but you know scrub it and then in the end you just shampoo your your wig hair your hair shampoo and condition if you want to I would suggest doing so yeah that is it for my long, drawn-out informational session. I hope you all learned something. Oh, by the way, make sure to watch part two to see what happened the second time I swam using the product and to see how it held up with a little bit of sweat. <laughs>